In today's video, we will be talking about dermatofibromas. These are small, painless, raised bumps. They can be flesh-colored, tan, brown, or reddish pink. They grow most commonly on the lower legs, and they affect women more than men. It's a common overgrowth of the fibrous tissue situated in the dermis, which is the deeper of the two main layers of the skin. We have epidermis and dermis. It's related to the dermis. So it's benign and it will not turn into a cancer. It most commonly affects young adults, occasionally children. Approximately 20% of dermatofibromas occur in individuals younger than 17 years. They're usually asymptomatic, but itching and pain can be seen. After initial growth, they tend to remain static in size. It's composed of fibroblastic and histiocytic cells, and I'm going to explain what are they, and presents as a firm nodule that can range in color. And fibroblasts are the cells that secrete collagen proteins that are used to maintain a structural framework for many tissues. And histiocytes, normal immune cell that is found in many parts of the body. When pinched, the nodule may dimple downwards. Some patients may report a history of previous trauma to the area, such as an insect bite. It can be caused by trauma. And lastly, people may request treatment if they have a growth that is unsightly or an embarrassing place. However, the surgery may leave a noticeable scar tissue after the area heals. For this reason, Doctors do not generally advise removal unless the growth is painful. So that was the end of the video. Don't forget to watch our Blue Men Syndrome video. It's an interesting one. Go and watch that. See you later.